This is a great time to introduce the TypeScript any type. So let's declare here a variable which is of type any. We are going to use the let keyword and we are going to name it my var. We are going to use a type annotation to specify that this is of type any. Now what can we assign to my var? Let's try to assign a number. As you can see you get no compilation error, so assigning numbers to any works. What about strings? Also no compilation error. An empty object or arrays? This also works, so we can assign anything to a variable of type any, including null and undefined. So far this is more or less intuitive given the name of the type any. But what might not be apparent at first sight is that not only can we assign to my var anything, but we also can take my var and assign it to anything, which might be a bit surprising the first time that we found this functionality. Let's say for example that we have here a variable which is a number and we are going to implicitly assign it the type number via type inference. So if we hit Control shift p we can see that we have here a number as an inferred type. Now can we assign to counter the value of my var? Let's have a look. So we can see here that we could assign my var to counter. That is absolutely not a problem. I'm going to remove this assignment here, show that it really doesn't change anything. We can assign to counter a type any. And what about let's say a string and this time I'm going to use a type annotation to explicitly assign it the type string. Can we assign str to a any variable? Let's give it a try. So as you can see we can also assign to a string a type any. But at this point we really have no guarantee that my var would have a string. This could be for example an object. And the type system is not throwing us an error, so this is valid code. This is the most important thing to keep in mind about any. We can assign it any value and we can take it and assign it to anything else. Any is really a way of opting out of the type checking of the TypeScript 2 compiler. This is here present in the language, especially for compatibility with third-party JavaScript libraries that were not written in TypeScript. So for those cases, any comes very handy to write our programs.